Kal Halalium, La Yahweh Bahasham, Shal Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Raka Kodash, that were honors to be apostles and elders of great Minnesota, and salutations to the sincere Achaeans pushing the truth of the Holy Bible in fear and sincerity for the children of Israel, which are the so called Negroes, Hispanics, Latinos, Amer Amerindians, Native Americans, etc. Just want to do a quick lesson that you know, Israel don't die, we multiply. Right, so I was in the backyard here and a couple weeks, like a week back, I chopped down these same um, banana trees that are coming up and you know, this patch here, <laughs> I, I don't want, I don't want this patch here because it spread too much, alright, and it was a hassle to clean, likewise the children of Israel, two thirds of our people, it was a hassle to correct them. Clean them up through the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh right? And um, you know, while while doing this, some scriptures came to mind. How the um, children of Israel are. This is um, Exodus chapter one, verses eight to twelve. Now there arose a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. He knew not Joseph, and he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more mightier than we come let us declare wisely with them lest wisely with them lest they multiply and it come to pass that when there there falleth out away falleth out any war they join also with their enemies and fight against us and so and so They join also with their enemies and fight against us, and so get them up out of the land. Therefore, they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them, to afflict them with their burdens, and they build, and they build Pharaoh treasure cities, Python and Ramses. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew, and they were grieved because of the because of the children of Israel. Right, so if you go to um, all right, so if you go to um, Revelation chapter 11, verse 8, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt where also our Lord was crucified. So, just like back then, we're in um, spiritually Egypt, you know. The U.S. dollar bill has a pyramid and so forth. Like the U.S. dollar bill has a pyramid and so forth, all right? So are the children of Israel in this wicked ass land. So this is, when I chopped down <laughs> the first set and this, this plan just keep growing. So I gotta, you know, get to the root. All right, and that's what this lesson is about. You know, Israel being compared to like um, plans that you can't um, can't just rid of because Yahweh Yahweh is the one who who nurtures this um who, who's our, who's our husbandry, All right? So let's go to um, Job. Job. Job chapter 14 verse 7 to verse um, 9. For there is hope of a tree if it be cut down. Alright, so these trees were cut down and they still grow back. So just like, oh, I didn't want this. This is like two thirds of, of what I cut down. And this over here is what I actually want. I want them to continue working. So, um, you know, 
left my brothers with some bananas and whatnot. Oh, it's GMO banana, but you know, that's the, uh, that's the curse that we have to endure. For there is hope of a tree, Job 14 and 7, for there is hope of a tree if it be cut down, that it will be that it will sprout again, and the tender branch thereof will not cease. Though the root thereof wax old in the earth, so the root of these plants is still here, all right, and the stock thereof die in the ground, yet though the scent of water it will bud and bring forth bowls like a plant. So, the two thirds of Israel. You know this word is still still within them but they won't obey so there will be a time when all of Israel will wake up and realize that the elect was preaching the truth and then you know they're gonna be upset and so forth because the most I can judge them dreadfully so let's go to um, John chapter 15 verse 1 to 10 this is Yahweh Shai speaking, who the world is going to call Jesus. I am the true vine, and my father is the husband man. All right? Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth. All right? So Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is going to purge Israel because these same branches, oh, these same um, banana over here had had follow me and a bunch of vines and stuff around them, right? Bear it not fruit, he taketh away every branch that beareth fruit. He purgeth that it may bring forth more fruit. So I had to purge these. Purge these over here. Take off the vine and, you know, um, some other things, some pruning and whatnot. So it, so it could bring forth more fruit, all right? Um, just monitor them better and so forth all right verse 3 of John chapter 15 now they are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you all right so Israel can only be clean they can't get ducking some water and so forth it's through you how about Shem Yahushai word abide in me and I in you as a branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine no more can ye abide in in me. So we cannot abide without Yahweh Shai, without the word. We can't know we can't be happy or understand life and understand our purpose unless we abide in this word. Verse five I am the vine and ye are the branches, and he that abideth in me, I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. See, as I just said. If a man abide not in me, he he is cast forth as a branch and is withered and is withered like these here. Alright? This is how two thirds gonna you know, um speaking like parabolically, this is how two thirds gonna be. And then they're gonna be renewed in the kingdom. But you know these but I gotta chop these down though, alright? Um If a man abide not in me, he cast forth as a branch. And is withered, and men gather them to cast them into the fire. Cast them into fire, and they be and they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, see my words abide in you, not just the New Testament, the volume of the book. And ye ask all, and ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. So if you obey the words and you ask, you know, shall um, bring it to pass. Once it's within you, how about Shem Yahushua? Of course. Here, herein is my Father's glorified. Herein is my Father glorified that ye bear much fruit. Ye shall be my disciples. All right, as in you're teaching people the right doctrine, you're putting all the works, video lessons, and, and other things. You know, edifying your people, warning your people, telling the heathens that that they not prepare themselves for, for slavery. All right. As a father loveth me, as a father loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. If ye lo if ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my father's commandments and and abide in his love. So this is the last scripture.
This is a heavy scripture. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 4, verse 1 to 3. And in that day, seven women shall take, take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own, up, own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. So that seven women is pertaining to like the number of completion because the children of Israel, the children of Israel will have to, um, the, the one third or the elect men, I should say, will have to bring back the two third of Israel. And one woman won't um, you know, bring them back for them to inherit the kingdom in time, according to how will. So a man will take, Man would be given more than one woman, right? Verse two, and this is not a. By the way, this is not a, a pimp up, pimps up, holes down um, thing. This is about um, doing the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, and um, this is verse two of Isaiah chapter four. And in that day shall the branch of Yahweh be beautiful, and glorious, and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent. And comely for them that are escaped of Israel. So it says the branch of Yahweh shall be beautiful. All right. The branch pertaining to the holy branch, the, the chosen. You see, there's a the butterfly right there. Just fly away. And so forth. All right. Verse 3. And it shall come to pass. That he that is left in Zion and he that is and he that remaineth in Jerusalem shall be called holy, and every one that is written among the living in Jerusalem. And that's talking about elect. And with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. All honesty, Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai. Double honesty, the apostle Nels of Raid so on. A salutation to the sincere Akim, pushing the truth to the Holy Bible, sincere truth. Shalom.